My name is Christopher B. Gray and I'm a musician and a teacher and a public space activist. Well, what does it mean to be a public space activist? To me, it, it means that uh, I'm concerned with the environment around us in the city and how it affects us um, on the inside and how we feel when we see things in the city. And today, I'm going to talk to you about things you can find in the street but I'm not talking about cars, I'm not talking about the people that we see, but I'm, in fact, I'm going to talk about um, uh, art that you can find on the walls of the city. So, what exactly is, is art? What is a work of art? Well, people normally think of a work of art as something you can find in a museum or gallery where you have to go to a special place to see it, and very often you have to pay some money. But on the streets, you can also find some very interesting works of art as well. For example, what is in fact behind me at the moment. Uh, it looks kind of interesting to me. We've got uh, three different works of art on the same wall, uh, which looks like a place which had been neglected for a long time. And I don't know if this is a triptych or this is three different artists or not, but uh, we had a chance to speak to the owner of the building and he said that the artist had actually come to him for permission to paint on these walls. And from time to time they renew what they've done. And uh, he, he likes what they do and, and they have a, kind of a mutual agreement about it. So it's quite nice and uh, he says it improves the area. Why do people do street art? Uh, I, I suppose everyone has different reasons. Uh, but uh, some people do it just because they want to express themselves in a place where they know other people will see what they're doing. Others may have political reasons and they want to show that they approve of something or disapprove of something uh, in their world around them. So they know that this is a way to get their message across. I know about uh, a campaign here in Krakow that used uh, street art to uh, help them promote their cause and uh, they're called the Butterfly Collective, and they painted blue butterflies on, on the streets and other places. They recommended that people not paint these butterflies on monuments or on private property, but only in places where they could get attention without damaging anything when they suggested this. And this was all to defend an endangered species of butterfly in a natural area here in Krakow called Zakshuvik. And now I think we're going to take a look at something different. So what does street art look like in the rest of the world? Well, you can find street examples of street art in many, many different places in the world and by many different artists. Uh, I've heard that one of the largest can be found in Berlin. And some famous street artists uh, are Space Invader, and uh, Mr. Brainwash and Banksy. So Banksy is one of the most well-known street artists in the world and a lot of his work is political in orientation and he uses a technique called stenciling very often in his work and this is a technique in which you must cut out an image from a cardboard stencil and then use a paint roller to uh, basically create the image on the wall. Another popular technique is 3D painting in which uh, an artist paints a hole in the wall or um, on the ground and it looks like you can actually fall into the hole as you're walking along the street. So I wanted to say that uh, our public space or our environment has a great effect on the way we feel every day. And if we let our public space become kind of a trash can, then we will have very little self-respect and those around us will also feel that way. But if we keep our environment in good condition, we'll feel better. And uh, basically, you can find a lot of interesting things in your street, just look around.